Nothing is more satisfying than seeing your imagined characters come to life in 3D. Um, at least to me. But the process of character creation can be laborious at times. Thankfully, with the kind of technology we're seeing today, the gap between conceptualizing characters in 2D and visualizing them in 3D is going to get even smaller. So today we're going to be looking at Avatar SDK, and in the style of my older video on PFUHD, we'll be using a quick and very rough digital painting to see how easily we can get a usable 3D head from this web-based tool. So here's a quick sketch I made of a face in Photoshop 2021, and we'll be using this version specifically in this process. I kept the sketch very loose and I painted just from imagination to show a benchmark for how accurate the sketch needs to be for this workflow. And you'll soon see that it doesn't really need to be that accurate at all. So I'll head over to Photoshop's Neural Filter and in the beta filters I'll enable Smart Portrait. So this filter will detect a face in your image and interpolate it with a data set of human faces to make all sorts of crazy adjustments. And what this means for us is it will tighten up our sketch in just a few um, drags of these sliders. So basically just playing around with these parameters will begin to refine the features of this face. And at this point, I think we're ready to send it over to Avatar SDK, so I'll export the file as a PNG and send it over there. So here's our model in Avatar SDK. And as you can see, we have a selection of hairstyles and even facial expressions we can play with. And you also might notice that we have a 3D head with ears, a tongue, and teeth to work with now. And we essentially got all that for free because I never indicated any of those in my sketch earlier. So before you get to download your character, you'll be asked to sign up. I did just that. And so I'm going to hit download and hit the blender. Just keep in mind that you shouldn't have to put any credit card or payment information to be able to use the WebGL demo. Okay, so here we are in Blender with a resulting OBJ file. And as you can see, it's triangulated, but the topology is good, meaning the loops are where they should be. We have all the detail we saw in Avatar SDK. And here we are with our head transplanted onto a character that I made previously. And another neat thing about this is everything is already also UV unwrapped. So this means we can take what pieces we need and bring these into Substance Painter for some quick texture adjustment. So here in Painter, mainly what I'm doing is baking the head mesh and using the skin, a smart material to get the scattering map and some additional detail. So thanks to tools like Avatar SDK and Photoshop, um, we can now create a 3D head model based on what is essentially a doodle. And we can use that model to get quick previews we can iterate on. Or we can use it as a starting point, and in some cases, even in our final renders. Um, so that's about it for this video. I hope you found this tool useful, and I encourage you to go try it out.